Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. Today we got another video for you. Today's video is how to scan to SMB or box using a PC. I did a video already on how to do it um, with a Mac, so today we're going to be doing it with a PC and this is going to be SMB version 1.0. All right, so first thing I want to do is show you my uh, network and SMB settings. So just go to uh, Utility Administrator Settings, type in your password, and then we're going to go to Network and SMB Settings. So why I want to do this is your machine may have some of these settings off. Uh, mine did. So I actually found that um, under Network Settings, SMB, I had to tweak some of these settings. And you can tweak these even more than me, and it should still work for you. But I just want to show you what mine look like. So under client settings, um, NL or NTLM is, version one is on. Um, user authentication is on, and then SMB user credential settings is on. So those are just the settings that work for me. You can play with these yourself. SMB server settings um, that's on SMB 1.0. And or have 2.0 there. SMB print I have off and share SMB share is on. The winds is enabled, and that's just what it looks like there. Those are the settings and direct hosting is on. So some of these may work for you, some may not, but that's uh, what works for me. For PC, Mac may be different. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and grab your IP address of your copier. Um, just go to utility uh, print settings configuration page to grab that and then just put that into your um, web browser and then once you're in you're just you won't even have to log in just go to store address and just head on over there and then as you can see I already have one I already did I'm just going to show you just click on new registration and then SMB click OK and I'll show you this twice so don't worry um, basically you're just gonna hit direct input click on that and just put whatever number you want it to be I already have one set up so I'm gonna put it as um, um, two and then the name of the folder or I'm sorry the name of the box that will just be scans for now I'm gonna click on main because I want it to be on the main page then the host address will be the IP address of your computer or your server the file path will just be the name of the folder we create which is just going to be scans the user ID is the user ID of your computer and the password of your computer and then you will click OK I will go through this one more time I'm going to cancel this one and show you the one that I've already done okay so this is the one I'm already done I'm just going to uh, go to edit and show you once again direct input I just have the name copy your scans main page the host address IP address of my computer or server scans and then STS and password um, is the username and password of my machine now once you have that and you're all done you just want to create a scans folder so let's just create one on the desktop um, right click new folder and let's just type in scans all lowercase will be fine and then right click properties and click on sharing and then share and we'll just select this for everybody you can create a user if you want to but we're just gonna make it easy and I'm gonna click on everyone and then share it and then click done so this folder shared now I'll click on advanced sharing and on the top click share this folder and under permissions just make sure it's under allow for um, full control and change and read so just uh, make sure everything's checked under allow hit apply and then hit OK and then our network and sharing center at the bottom let's go ahead and click on that now I'm just gonna go over to private network you, um, you really don't want this on guest or public I know that's what it shows I'm on but I am on a private network and you just want to make sure uh, turn on file printer sharing is on and you don't really want to do it on a public network and just make sure that these settings um, are on. You just want to enable file sharing for devices uh, that use 40 or 50 bit encryption there right at the bottom. And right at the bottom turn on password protected file sharing. So there you go. That's everything that I have set there so I'm just going to go ahead and close that out. Now at the bottom left hand side you're going to want to 
type in turn Windows features on or off. This I found is what um, allowed me to finally scan after a bunch of troubleshooting. So after that, just scroll down to SMB 1.0 and um, click on that and make sure SMB 1.0 client and server is both on. You're going to want to hit OK and then reboot your computer. Mine would not work until I did this. I was uh, trying to figure out what was going on. All right, so now that the folder is complete, we can head on over to our copier and scan our document. So I'm just going to scan this little checklist here. Just throw that right in the feeder or on the glass and hit scan fax. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can. All right, so you'll see copier scans will be right on our main page and you'll just hit start. And the data icon went away, which is a good sign. That means it's been sent to our computer. So now let's swing over back to the computer. And um, the file usually comes pretty fast. Um, something my, my network might have been a little bit slow here, but uh, it did wind up coming through. You just got to give it a second or two. And the file will just pop up just like so. All right, there it is. The file popped right up. You can just open it up, double click it, do with it as you wish. Just like that, guys, that's how to scan to SMB using a PC, not a Mac, a PC on a Konica copier. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.